Hello and welcome to our DSLR sensor filter cleaner liquid residue tests. What you're looking at now is a Nikon 300D sensor filter and we're going to be placing four different DSLR sensor filter cleaner liquids on it and watch the evaporation and residue that's left behind. First we'll start with um, Dust Aid Ultra Clean. This is our new formulated liquid and we're going to watch the liquid drop and see how the evaporation goes with the residue. So we'll just tip this and keep it in the center. So this is uh, a non-flammable liquid that has an accelerated evaporation rate and we've been working really hard on reducing its residue uh, after evaporation. You can see it's almost fully evaporated. And there it is. You can slightly make out the residue pattern. Let's shift the light to see if it helps anymore. And so there's the residue pattern left behind by Dust Aid Ultra Clean. Okay, now I'm going to clean this off and put on the next sensor filter cleaner liquid. Hold on, please. Okay, I've cleaned off the remaining residue from uh, Ultra Clean. Now I'll put on Eclipse, which is methanol. Put one little droplet. One small droplet out. There we go. Okay, we're just going to let this go and evaporate and see what the residue pattern looks like. Uh, Eclipse is methanol and it is uh, a toxic chemical. And we're just going to let this evaporate on its own time and, and run its time let it limit out. Now what we're going to be comparing is the uh, evaporated residue from a droplet. Uh, we'll also be looking at uh, E2 which is ethanol and uh, sensor clean from visible dust which is a water-based um, sensor filter clean liquid. We're just waiting for this to evaporate. And to see what the pattern looks like. Thank you for your patience. While nothing all evaporates. Go. You can start seeing it pulse with the evaporation, and there we are with uh, Eclipse evaporated. And we still have uh, little balls of uh, evaporation of uh, residue, and those take a long time to evaporate but it gives you a feeling uh, of the residue left behind and you can compare that to the initial dust stain. All right I was able to clean that off and now we're gonna look at um, and get around here for you E2. I'm gonna put a droplet. Let me see if I can get that dust particulate. Okay these are our handy dandy dust wands. On one droplet. There we go. And we'll watch to see this evaporation rate and to see the residue left behind by E2. Let's continue. 
continuing to evaporate. Thanks for your patience while this evaporates to see the residue of E2. Looks like it's starting to go on the sides, probably being heated up by the uh, hot light I have on it. It's going. there. Almost done with the evaporation. Just have a little center part now to we're waiting for it to evaporate. This again is E2 which is flammable and toxic. ethanol based and there we go fully evaporated and you can uh, compare the residue between the first uh, ultra clean and then Eclipse and now E2. Now we'll jump into visible dust sensor clean while I, after I clean this up. Thank you. All right we're done cleaning that up and now we've got a little dust sensor clean and we'll put one droplet and we'll let that evaporate. Uh, this is water based and non flammable and takes uh, quite a long time to evaporate. We've timed it to about 29 minutes so I'm going to put this on pause and we'll come back after it evaporates. All right. Uh, Sensor Clean has finished evaporating and you can see its residue mark in the upper center of the sensor filter. The white specks are particulates that accumulated over the half an hour that this liquid was evaporating. Uh, and we hope you can use these four comparisons uh, in your selection of your next purchase of DSLR sensor filter cleaners in relation to their residue. And thank you again for watching. Bye now.